Good day, brothers and sisters. Wisdom at Dawn, episode 305. Let go of deeply rooted attachments, a limited understanding. Master says, the Buddha understood all underlying principles of all form and formless realms. His knowledge and views is like the sun, illuminating the world and reaching everything. Master says all of us have it too, only it's covered. Like a mind that is covered by dust, how can it reflect its surrounding clearly? Therefore, a defiled mind is like a dusty mirror. So how not to retain our defilements in our own minds? As long as we mindfully wipe this mirror clean, its functions would return. A dusty mirror cannot reflect, but a clean and clear mirror can reflect everything around it. So we must work very hard to clean this mirror and be careful not to let it get dirty again. And this is the Buddha's hope, knowing that all sentient beings have various deep attachments in their mind. So by using skillful means, the Buddha taught them, firstly, by understanding them. Even those with deep faith and no doubts still have deep attachments in their mind. So the Buddha gently coaxed them out of their state of confusion toward developing great capabilities. Just like a professor who is attached to his own field of research, practitioners of respective Buddhism schools may also have, have its own attachment. And this is not what the Buddha wants. The Buddha wants us to seek the great and profound Dharma and be firm and unwavering to act benevolently and respectfully towards all, as all Dharma is expansive and boundless. If we are all attached to our own views, and this would prevent the Dharma from spreading. Thus, with deep faith but no attachments to extreme is what the Buddha hopes for. Like the root of a tree, growing deep but also growing wide. The Buddha worked very hard to give us teachings according to capacities of sentient beings. All Buddhas were sentient beings in the past who sought and diligently practiced the Dharma. So they understood all sentient beings despite their various attachments and all have intrinsically the Buddha nature. So using external causes and conditions, we need to reflect on our own true nature to understand ourselves in our daily life. This is what the Buddha's profound teaching is about, to look deeper within when encountering all people, matters and objects, to focus on our own true nature and compare ourselves not to others but to the Buddha. As Master says, we must have deep faith in our own intrinsic Buddha nature. Thus, self-reflection is wisdom and we all have innumerable wisdom and virtues like the Buddhas. Master says there are two kinds of original nature in every phenomenon. First is the general nature. General nature is originally empty and tranquil, meaning nothing arises on its own. Everything comes together due to convergence of causes and conditions. And once these causes and conditions disperse, nothing is left. Everything is empty. Just like a baby that come together or arise due to the convergence of the father and the mother. Second is particular nature. These are habitual tendencies or conditioned nature. Like fire is hot in nature and water is wet in nature. They are all distinguishable. All has its own label and nature and is conditioned and created. Just like some people who are inclined to commit evil, they will become evil in nature and vice versa. So everything that we see is conditioned and has a particular nature and they can be distinguished in their appearance. Good or evil also has its own appearance. But actually the true nature of all phenomena is actually empty. Even when they converged, even when they converge and come together by conditions, when we analyze and break it down, it is empty in the end. And that is the most real. So Master advised us to always reflect on our true nature using external conditions. And from that, we will realize our original true nature. 
Kan'an for listening in. May we all achieve enlightenment for the benefit of sentient beings.